Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are checking out the new DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which is a gimbal style pocket camera that is very small, but it has a one inch sensor. I feel like I should do like a series, or I guess I am doing a series on my channel about vlogging and content creator cameras because I'm pretty sure this is my fifth video. The first video I did, I believe, was of the Sony ZV-E1 right here. And this is my A camera. Basically, I use this for majority of my vlogs and content on this channel. Another video I did vlogging was with the Insta360 GO. And I actually really still love this camera. I use it to this day. The other video I did was of the Sony ZV-1 Mark II, which is a compact vlogging style camera. It is a one inch sensor, which is the same size sensor as we're seeing in the DJI Pocket 3. And then the last video I did vlogging was with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. All these videos will be linked down in the description below in case you're interested in seeing them. I just feel like I like these videos because it gives you guys or the audience or people searching a look into the sort of style of video or footage you can get from these cameras. I will leave a couple links below of some videos that I think really dive into showing you the features and functionalities. This video is just going to be literally vlogging with this DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I am also currently using the DJI Mic 2 that comes with the Creator Combo pack for this pocket 3 and it's really cool because this is the transmitter and you don't need a receiver to attach to the camera because it's built into the camera so all you need is this guy and you power it on and it connects automatically which is really awesome and this is amazing because this is a gimbal style camera meaning it will follow me wherever I go so let me turn that on right now hold on basically as I move about this will follow me because it is on a gimbal and because I have this microphone I can actually walk farther now and you can still hear me pretty clearly so let's just give this a test real quick so if I was over here kind of showing something and talking about it we got this from Puerto Vallarta it was actually a dog toy but I thought it was so cute I keep it as a shelf decor but yeah, so you can move about the frame and it should follow me pretty seamlessly, which is awesome. So that is one of the main reasons I got this was to be able to get some clips that I couldn't with my other cameras. This guy is so small and easy. I can pick it up and it is so smooth because it's on a three axis gimbal. It's actually Halloween today. Our friends are throwing a party. Well, it's not really a party. Their neighborhood gets pretty festive because they have a lot of growing families in the area. So a lot of them are out and about trick-or-treating. And so a lot of their neighbors just hang out on their porches and have a good time. It's almost like a block party, I guess. I'm heading over to Spirit Halloween. We're not really going hard on costumes this year. So it's just to not look lame. <laughs> That is the plan. I wonder how this sounds with the, uh, the DJI Mic 2 because when I film in my car, usually the sound is so terrible. I'm not sure exactly why or if I'm doing something wrong, but hopefully this sounds good because of the mic situated on my collar right here. Then after that, I think I want to go to Dave's Hot Chicken and have some lunch with you guys because I have been seeing people do... Sorry, that was my uh, lane assist. I have been seeing people do these mukbangs for Dave's Hot Chicken. I've never had it, but... The french fry crunch is so wild, like, it sounds like heaven to me, so I'm gonna see if there's one, I think there's one like 20 minutes away from here, so let's have a little mini mukbang in the van and I can talk to you guys a little bit more about this camera. Okay, so I just ended up getting two of the exact same masks. I feel like me and Donnie could just match. And I also feel like I might have some coveralls, overalls somewhere that I could wear with this. Like a mechanic overalls, I don't know, whatever. Again, like I said, last minute. Let's see. Okay, there's like little tiny holes right here. Where I could barely see. Am I cute though? My hair looking cute? What if I drive like this? <laughs> okay, let's go to Dave's Hot Chicken. Literally going because I want to try the french fries just for the crunch. But also I hear the chicken strips are good, so let's go. 
All right, we are back in the van and I got my Dave's hot chicken. I went with extra hot. I'm not sure how hot this is because I've never had Dave's hot chicken, but I do love me some spicy foods. So we got the extra hot right there. Let's just dig in, let's try it. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try these fries. Okay, let's try it and see the crunch. Wait a minute, that wasn't a crunchy one. Sad, try this one. No. I mean, it's really good, but it's not crunchy. What the heck? Oh man, kind of sad. I came here for the crunchy fries. Well, let's try chicken. Okay, this looks actually really crunchy. So this is extra hot. Let's see how hot this is. Let's try it without the sauce first, so. Mmm. That is so flavorful. Whew. That is hot. Let's try it with some of the sauce. Okay. Ooh, that's spicy. Mm-hmm. Notice how like I get blurry in the background. That's the one inch sensor doing its work. Like an action camera doesn't have that depth because the sensor's so small. Mmm. This chicken's amazing. And the sauce is good too. Yeah. I could do the other spice. This is I'm like used to the spice level already. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up lunch and then I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about this camera afterwards. Sad about the fries, what the heck? All right guys, we are switched over real quick to the Sony ZV-E1, just so I can show you guys this DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Just wanna talk about this a little bit before we move forward with the vlog. So basically this is a small pocketable camera that uses a gimbal, similar to DJI drones. And so when you, the way you turn it on, you flip the screen almost like, do you guys remember, maybe not, this was way back in the day, but there was a phone from T-Mobile called Sidekick and you would flip the, I guess it was like an LCD or whatever the screen was to start the phone. And this is kind of reminiscent of that. So you just flip like that and it starts. And so basically this touchscreen is your menu system. You access all your settings through here. You also have a joystick right here that you can move up and down, left and right, the gimbal and then your record button. If you press this three times, you'll see the gimbal will actually rotate the other way. So now it's facing towards me. There. I'm gonna link a couple videos down below that go over this in detail. I just wanna show you guys kind of the basics of this camera. Also, if you want to, shoot vertically you can just shoot like that but i do find that you know it's so small and this is where the creator combo comes in one you have an extension in the combo pack right here so you can just throw this on there and so now it's longer so you can actually hold it a little bit more comfortably in my opinion i feel like maybe if you have smaller hands or for kids this is a perfect size but i'm so glad that they add an extension for people with bigger hands and then on top of that they also the creator combo also comes with some legs has a tripod mount quarter screw and so then now you have a little mini setup right here boom so that's really cool. If you guys are looking at this, I highly recommend looking at the creator combo. You get a lot of accessories for that. Another thing that comes in the creator combo pack is an extended battery, which is amazing because it's also an extended grip. So this is the original one that I just showed you guys. And then here is the extended battery pack. So it's almost double the size. So it's a lot longer, but then there's an internal battery in here. You can add some juice to your pocket three, which is awesome. So now with the extended battery pack, plus the legs, you can even get taller. And I actually prefer this size because I like the height when it's on a tabletop. I feel like it is more convenient. So another thing you get in the creator combo pack is this wide angle adapter that is magnetic. And you just basically pop it on here, like that. 
So without this, you're getting a field of view of about 20 millimeters. And then with this wide angle adapter, you get about 15 millimeters. Another cool thing that comes in the creator combo is this cover, protective cover for your gimbal. And it also has two slots in here where you could put your wide angle adapter as well as a black mist filter. So now your gimbal is protected. And then the last thing that comes in the creator combo pack, which I think is like one of the coolest aspects of this camera alone, is this DJI Mic 2. But what they did here was they built in the receiver into the actual camera. So all you need is a transmitter. So you have a wireless mic, you attach it, you turn it on, and it automatically connects to this. And it connects in like a second or two. It's so quick, you don't even have to worry about it. And if you leave this on but turn this off, the moment you turn on your camera again, it'll automatically connect and you're good to go. And then and also, I'm not sure if this is exactly what it's used for, but there's like a little section right here where you can clip on the mic so you can store it here. Or I'm thinking this is actually cool to talk to because you can stand it if you wanted to and just talk or you can hold it like a microphone, which I've been actually really liking holding this and talking to it just because it gives my hands something to do. And so that's been a nice sort of change of pace for me versus like trying to be animated because I can't stay still, so this has been a good little distraction, if you will. For new creators and people who are wanting to start a YouTube, this is actually a really versatile camera and probably the only camera you need to start with. Plus, your phone could probably be your B-cam. So this I love because obviously it has the gimbal, so it's so smooth when you're walking. You can vlog really easy with it. It is wide enough to vlog with. It's discreet, it's compact, so you don't feel too crazy out in the public. Well, at least I feel a lot better holding this versus my bigger cameras. The image that you get from this video quality is so good for how small it is. Like, I can't even begin to tell you guys. Like, I'm genuinely shocked at they threw in a one inch sensor in here and the quality is just mm, so good. I would probably recommend this over other compact cameras with a one inch sensor because you get more than just the sensor you get a gimbal you get a all-in-one sort of tripod here that can track you and follow you and then on top of that you get your own audio system if you get the creator combo which again I highly recommend but other than that we are going to go to our friend's house tonight for Halloween and I will take this guy with us and I'm really excited to see the low light capabilities of this because the ones I've seen on YouTube are pretty insane and the thing too about low light is when you're using an action camera in low light, the stabilization really suffers. You get all this jittery footage and artifacts in your clips. So with this, because it's on a gimbal, it's mechanical and it's not doing it software based. All right, well, we're going to head home and figure out more of our costume details. And then I will check in with you guys later. Boop. It's like the Disney. <laughs> Joshy. What if we could plan it out? Cabo for a week, pass for a day, ooh wee wee. You can come and be my babe, you can see what a gentleman I am. Yeah. What if we could plan it out? Party in the streets, like the golden days at the beach. Family buzzing in my air like a beat. Maybe you could chill. All this stuff I have up in my head, I just wanna do Maybe if you come then you can hang, you can meet the crew We could even chill out at the park like we did in school Take you back to when you was a kid, everything was cool Hope you never lose track, life's a little hard when you're not home, yeah Yeah, I've been gone and gone, but still on my own, yeah I'm a soldier, I fight for what's right, so my heart's just been fighting for you I'm gonna walk what around with my I mask, do? we got some lights right here from my eyeballs I feel like this is a really good low light test that you probably won't get from any other creator who is walking in the middle of the street with glowing eyeballs. Low light setting and I'm using the DJI Mic 2. Okay, now we have two clowns walking. This is a low light test. <laughs> Your hair's so pretty. How about my hair? Is, it cute? is she cute? <laughs> I feel like she like needs a little like brush. Maybe you could chill. Anyong has a yo. Shout you beneficent for real. Tell me how it feels to be the one I
What is up? It is now a couple days later and I just wanted to do a final thoughts about this DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This has been a really amazing camera to use for vlogging and if you are a new creator looking to up your game with a camera, I'm gonna go and say this is probably the best camera you can get for starting out for your YouTube channel. It's just so easy to use, it's user friendly and it doesn't break the bank. And I think if you are a new creator looking to up your vlogging game or just content creation or to start a channel, this is probably the camera for you and I highly recommend it. it. It's just so versatile and can get so many shots. It's easy to use, it is small, it's pocketable, it's discreet. It has a gimbal so it can literally follow you around anywhere and if you get the creator combo you can get a microphone this guy right here which is awesome the app that DJI uses which is I think it's called like the DJI Mimo app you can literally like monitor yourself anywhere which is pretty fantastic and the quality in the app even when you're monitoring yourself is really really good like it's so clear I'm actually pretty shocked so throughout this vlogging experience with this camera I have been trying to think about pros and cons and I could come up with a ton of pros which I've talked about throughout this entire video but in terms of cons it was really hard for me to find anything just because it was handling everything I threw at it but if I had to choose a con I guess for me and for the way I shoot personally is and it's more just I don't even know if it's considered a con because what I was gonna say is that it just feels a little bit weird to hold and I think that's just more of not being used to holding such a small camera because I always have my big camera on me so I don't even know if that's a con because if I started using this all the time I would get used to it so that's kind of like the only thing I was finding negative which is again not really a negative right you could talk about battery life being negative but in the creator combo pack they give you an extended battery pack which basically adds double the life of your battery and you can attach it detach it easily and it doesn't add a lot of weight or bulk to the camera so that's awesome yeah, I mean, honestly, I just think this is a really, really good camera to use to create your content. And honestly, I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface of what I could do with this camera in terms of getting creative shots. I've only had it for about a week now, but even in just that week, I was already adding shots that I couldn't get normally in my vlogs. Like, this camera really just can follow you around. It is insane. It even has product showcase mode, which is something some Sony cameras have, and you're paying a premium to get that but this little guy has it like the fact that this can autofocus for such a small compact camera is wild to me oh actually I do realize there's a con for me and that is the exposure compensation for this camera I feel like during in the direct Sun it's really hot and I feel like I have to adjust the exposure comp down way way low I'm usually at like negative one to two at times I don't know what they're doing I think there might be some HDR or Thing going on where they're trying to expose for both you as well as the background when you do that it kind of suffers with your skin tones being really bright as well and so that's why I think using ND filters will actually make the footage look a lot nicer in bright sunlight however they're all sold out they're back ordered so I can't get my hands on any but I'm hoping to add that into my kit later down the line so now we're using the mic the internal mics on the Osmo Pocket 3 and from the videos that I saw this actually sounds really good too it might not sound good right now just because I'm in my office and there is no rug here, so you're hearing a lot of echo. But in terms of like the sound volume, the clarity, and how it picks up patterns, whether it's front, back, or all around, I think it's actually really, really good quality. And so if you don't want to get the Creator Combo Pack and just want to invest in the camera alone, know that the audio is also going to be great. So you can just start with that and then work your way up. And then the last thing I just want to emphasize too is that this has a one inch sensor. And I've said this in this video already, but it is crazy to me that something this small can pack in a one inch sensor because you're getting the depth of other cameras that are in a much larger body. Again, let's just, let me show you the depth of this. And so you can see on me over here, I'm kind of blurred because that's the one inch sensor having that amount of depth in it. So if it was an action camera and I did that, we would still both be in focus. The background would be pretty much in focus as well. All right, and that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys have any questions about this camera, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to answer them. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you can, try to choose happy over sad today and I will catch you in the next video. Bye everyone, I'm about to edit this vlog right now. I'll catch you guys later.